So this will only be a very short video where I'm going to test that new side track function on this Hover Air X1. I want to see if it's fast enough for mountain bike riding and I sort of going to try it here on uh, this rather twisty trail. It's a slow and twisty XCO track here in Gothenburg. Uh, so I give it a try to see if it can keep up. So it sort of tracks from where you start it. If it started from there, it tracks from there. And if you started from there, it tracks from there. Um, try to keep it from there, straight from the side. Standard side track. Okay, let's give it a go. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> no way. Okay, second try. I'm not going to go in that twisty section. Uh, definitely can't keep up there. Let's try to keep like a straight line here, straight to that jump down there, if you can see it. And uh, have this drone track me from the side. Hope for the best. Oh, it dropped me. Oh, there it comes. <laughs> oh, that's a weird function. I don't think that works very well when going from side to side. Okay, let's try this when going straight on an open field. And to see how fast we can go without turning this time. Standard side track. Right, starting off slow. It follows me. So this is 12 kilometers per hour. 15, still keeping up, 18, yeah, sort of keeping up, 20, 22, 23, 25, 25, Actually kept with me. Oh jeez! It goes haywire sometimes. Come here. Oh, I'll just go into auto land. Ascents and descents are challenging when using side track. The drone simply doesn't change altitude very much. It's the same issue with follow me, but there it works a bit better and it never hits the ground. The hover is a technical marvel, but from a mountain biker's perspective, it does has its limits. Follow me is what works best, but even with that function, there are things that you cannot do. 180 degree turns don't work very well. The faster you bike, the worse the hover performs. It really is a drone made for hikers and maybe runners in the first place. But if you know the limits, you can work with it. If the trail is not too twisty and too steep, both sidetrack and follow me can work well enough. And for me, it's about having only a few seconds of aerial footage to match with my GoPro. 
If you're interested, I made a full review of this drone, which you can find here in the link or in the description. In Matrix style, of course. For the convenience and the ability to film myself in a forest, this is the drone that I always carry with me, despite owning a couple of other drones. <laughs> right, it goes absolutely haywire sometimes. But if you go in a straight line, it can actually keep up. And I was a bit surprised, I didn't think it could keep up with, uh, with the full speed of this drone, that's 25 km per hour. But that worked pretty well actually. So sidetrack at 25 km per hour, that's not a problem, as long as you don't turn anywhere. But in these twisty sections that we got here, uh, I don't think the sidetrack is a good function for that. Um, follow me works a lot better than that. Yeah, thank you for watching this short little video. If you're wondering, this is a Merida E160, the new one that I'm going to review for a Swedish magazine actually. So I don't know if I can post a video here on my channel. But if I do, I will link that up here somewhere and in the description too. See you in the next video.